What's up, Internet? Welcome to Child Studios. On today's video, I'm going to be talking about Compose versus Pipe and how you can use these functional uh, programming language uh, constructs to make your programs uh, more modular and more flexible, uh, more testable. Um, so, uh, yeah. Now, this is I'm going to be doing this in JavaScript, and I'm going to be using the uh, Ramda programming uh, the, the Ramda uh, functional programming language library uh, to do this in. So um, I'm going to start off and give um, um, a brief description of Compose and Pipe, um, generally how they're used, and then we'll then want to write some small bit of code that will actually use these features. So um, <clears throat> so let me talk a little bit about Compose. So let's say you had um, Let's say you had some function. Um, let's and let's just be generic. Let's call it g. <clears throat> That's some function, and you wanted to apply some value. Let's say x. So this this of course is um, is a uh, is g of x, right? So there's a function. So you you pass in x, and uh, that gets applied to the function g. But then let's say you had another function f. And you wanted f, uh, you wanted the result of g, you wanted the result of g of x to be applied to f. And then let's say you had another function h, and you could apply. So g, when once a x got applied to g, that value got got applied to f, and then that that uh, value then got applied to to h. So these are mathematical constructs. Um, <clears throat> Now, this is very generic right here. Another way of saying it is, what if you had a function um, called uh, square, sq for square, and you wanted to square, let's say, 3. right? So 3 went in, and you squared the results. Um, so um, so uh, 3 times 3 is 9. <clears throat> and then let's say you wanted to apply that to an add function. Let's say. Um, add to let's call it add two that was the function and so once you once you call that nine we would get applied to add two and you would get eleven and then let's say you had one more function that you wanted to to uh, to call you would call it let's say multiply three let's say mole three um, and that would then that would take this result here 11 and then that would be 11 times 3 and then you would get 33 uh, 33 is your answer so here here's function one with this in this case here this is this is the G and then F is this add two function and then H is the uh, H is the mole three so this is a mathematical this is what you would see like in in a, in a math class where you where you square the three first, and then you would do the add two second, uh, and then the mole three uh, third. So this right here is a uh, function composition. So let me um, actually just create another one of these real quick. So I had h of g of f of x. Right, that's what I had before. This is called a uh, function composition, and how you do this using um, using uh, Ramda is you would say r dot compose, and you would put in h comma g comma f. You put in your functions, this function, this function, and this function, and in this this works exactly the same way as this, but where in the top one x was X is right here. The X here, actually, when you when you call compose uh, down here, it actually gives you a new function. Let's call this F2, and then you then you could say F2, and then you could, you could provide X. So so this uh, this what I have right here is um, function composition. The F executes first, and then the and then the G, then the F first, then the G second and then the h third so that's that's compose um, the other one that i want to talk about is uh is pipe now pipe works it's very similar so if i said h um, of g of f of x 
same concept here. But what if you wanted um, what if you wanted to run H actually H first? So let, let's keep this same code here, and let's say I were to say uh, R for Ramda dot pipe, and you wanted you wanted to say H G F. Well, this is not the same thing as is is the previous code because actually what happens here is this H runs first and then G runs second and then F runs third. So the code actually runs runs in in, in that direction. So this actually does not does not look like that. It actually looks like this. Um, it looks like um, F. Sorry. Uh, yes. Um, F. Of G of H of X so um, so the H runs first then the G runs second and then the F runs third so they both both these things do the same thing um, they both compose functions uh, one of them com the compo compose uh, uh, does it uh, runs the runs the functions from uh, right to left, and then pipe runs the functions from from left to right. They both do the same thing. It's just they run run them in different different orders. Um, so it's really just whatever your preference is. Okay. And um, here's the uh, here's the website, the Ramda documentation on compose and pipe. Um, you can see right here it says performs a right to left function composition and this says performs left to right function composition okay so that's that I'll make sure these um, uh, these links are in the uh, are in the description uh, in YouTube I'm gonna go ahead and do a small sample with this okay so I have RAMD already installed I npm installed it so if you look at my package.json file RAMD is already there it's installed so I'm kinda ready to go so const R equals so there's my Ramda library. Now what I want to do is is I want to make a, a function that can um, I want to make a function that can triple something. Um, so so like how would you do that? So I'm going to call this a const triple and triple is going to be a function that if you provide it some value x then I want to take that value x and multiply it times 3. Now there's other ways of doing this but I'm the whole purpose of this is just to show compose and pipe so my examples are going to be simple um, so uh, we can focus in, focus in on just the concepts instead of, instead of other extraneous things. So there's triple. What if I had another function too? Uh, call it half. Half means obviously I'm going to take some value x and I'm going to take whatever that value x is and I'm going to divide it by 2 so it becomes half and then the last one is what if I wanted to um, square something so I could say const square some value x and then x uh, raised to the second power right so here's three functions just like in the example I just gave the f f f of x g of x uh, f of x g of x f of x yeah, sorry, h of x, g of x, f of x. Um, these are these are sort of like the, the same thing, except they're they're actual they're real functions. Okay, so what if I wanted to do uh, compose? So I could say const let's call this f1, and I'm going to use r ramda dot compose, and I'm going to compose uh, triple, and then half. And then a square, and the output of this, the output of this compose call is another function. So f1 is another function. So let's do that, and then I'm going to actually just going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to copy this code, call this f2, but instead of compose, I'm going to call this thing pipe. So you can see the res what the results are going to be. So if I said um, uh, f1 of let's pass in three. That's the value I'm going to apply to this. So f1 of 3. And, uh, and then I'm going to show the same thing with f2. See if we can see, the, we can see if the, what the results are. <clears throat> so I did that. And let me pull 
this over. Uh, now I say node index. There we go. So you can see here in the in these results that you actually got different um, in the output here. You got different results for F1, F1, F3. You got 13.5. For F2, F3, you got 20.25. Why are the results different? Because in the composed one, it actually runs square. It takes the three and squares it, and then it halves it, takes half of that value, and then uh, it triples that value. Uh, versus pipe, what it does is it actually triples the three first, and then it halves it, uh, and then finally it squares it. So it runs it runs them in different order. Um, so anyway, this is an example here. I have multiple functions. Um, you, in functional programming, obviously, you the whole concept is you're going to take your code and make it as um, modular as possible by creating all these functions. But then you need to compose these functions or combine these functions to make them more useful. And the compose or pipe uh, are, are, are brilliant and perfect examples of how to compose or, or combine functions together. It's just whichever one you want to do. Do you want to call the functions left to, uh, um, right to left or do you want to call them um, left to right? So anyway, that's it. That, that's uh, all of this video. Uh, I'll be doing some more videos on functional programming and, um, and JavaScript and, and other videos as well, too. Anyway, that's it. Thank you.